Hey everybody, Teresa here from Inspiration Cards. I am finally back with our second Stampin' Jamie's online card class featuring the Hello Ladybug stamp set. Um, it's been a little while. Uh, we've had a run of COVID going through the house. Um, so starting to feel better, right? If my voice sounds a little funny, that's why. Um, but I'm excited to finally be back and sharing this week's card with you. So without any further ado, Let's flip this around and get to some crafting. So here's this week's card with our cute little ladybug. So what you're gonna need for this week's card is gonna look a little something like this. Okay, so you'll have a nice large piece of real red cardstock. So this is half an eight and a half by 11 sheet. Okay, you'll also have, in terms of your bigger pieces, Okay. right a piece of basic white and basic black that are about a quarter of a eight and a half by 11 sheet and then you'll have another larger piece of basic white that as you can see is just about a quarter of an inch smaller than the others and then you'll have a strip of basic black and a, a couple of pieces using the layering circles dies. So we've got our real red to sneak behind our piece of basic white there. Okay, now to start us off, I always like to, of course, fold my card base in half. There we go. I'm gonna use my bone fold to get that nice crisp, clean fold and set that off to the side. Now the largest piece of basic white is gonna go on the inside of your card. And you can stamp a little um, image or you can add a phrase in the, in the middle. I usually like to go with an image on the inside because um, I tend to write hand, um, hand handwritten notes on the inside of my cards. Um, although sometimes when I'm in a pinch, um, it's really nice to, to be able to just stamp a phrase in there. So I'm going to use those same cluster of flowers there and grab my real red ink pad. <clears throat> I'm just going to get that fully inked up. Here we go. And that's going to go right down in that bottom corner. Here we go, and we're gonna set that aside to dry. Okay, and of course you can set aside your pieces of basic black and your scalloped real red circle as well. So on the other piece of real red, we're gonna grab that cute little daisy image. And I haven't actually tested out to see if this actually coordinates with the daisy punch. It might come pretty close, actually. I am now intrigued to test out that theory. If anyone has tested out that theory, drop a comment below. I would love to know if this little daisy works with our daisy punch. All right, so I'm just gonna stamp the daisy image with real red, of course, randomly on onto my piece of cardstock. So I'm just checking every once in a while just to make sure I've got full coverage of the ink. All right. And so similar to what I did on the first card. And when I'm stamping randomly, I try and stamp in random, um, I should say random, odd numbers. Here we go. Right, makes it, makes it look a little more random. go. So that's three. We're going to do two more. Go. We're going to sneak one more in the corner here, or at least part of one anyway. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna tuck this closed just for a minute. There we go. And grab my tuxedo black ink pad here. All right, definitely want your 
ladybug outline to be in black. Although, you know what? If you want to go a little non-traditional, that could be kind of funky as well. All right, so I'm going to grab my, my small basic white circle. I'm just going to ink up my ladybug here. Get him or her, who knows, thoroughly inked up. And I'm going to put him, put, put my ladybug right in the center. I keep wanting to call it, call my ladybug a him. But, I mean, really, honestly, who knows? There we go. And of course, right, keeping with our real red theme. I'm going to fill in those wings with some real red ink. And the easiest way to do this is actually lining up the dots. That's the easiest way to make sure you get the, the color where you want it, just like that. Go. And just below our little ladybug, and add a little, a little phrase. Just a little hello. Go. Just like that. So this is a great card, just right, just because, right, um, right. Hello is a phrase, you know, that you can um, use just to say hi, just because. Or you could always add in whatever kind of specific um, little note you want on the inside, right? Hello, just wanted to pop in and wish you a happy birthday, right? You really can, you can really kind of take this wherever you want it to go. All right. So here are our pieces to assemble. So I'm gonna start with that largest piece of basic white. Grab my stamp and seal here. And as I said, this is just gonna go on the inside of our card base. Here we go. And then we want our basic black card mat to go on the outside here. I find with the stamp and seal, you actually don't need to go all the way around the edges. Some people still like to do that, but I do find the stamp and seal quite strong. And so to, to stretch, stretch my tape runner a little bit further, I just kind of go along the edges a little bit. All right, and here are our red daisies. So again, just kind of going around the edges here. Yeah, just that little pop of basic black framing it. That's about an eighth of an inch difference there um, all around. All right, now here's our strip of basic black and that's just gonna go just down at the bottom here. Here we go. And let's grab our ladybug and our scalloped real red circle. Now, if you want your your um, your scallops to be a little bit bigger, um, I I like that they just kind of poke out a little bit. But you can go one size up in terms of your dies if you want 
a little bit more of that of that real red scalloping throat showing it showing through all right so I'm going to take a few dimensionals here throw them on the back these are the the minis here to dig into my stash of the the original larger size ones looks like there we go they all work the same that's going to go right down here in our corner. And to add just a little something, I always like to add a little bit of bling to just about all of my cards. So these are the polished dots that are actually soon to be retired. So I'm just going to scoop up some of the larger clear ones. I'm just going to put those in the center. these daisies here. I probably actually tuck one. Let's see. Have that kind of peeking out a little bit. Where'd it go? That spatula tip definitely comes in handy. So you can see it peeking out just a teeny little bit. <clears throat> Voila. And as always, I do have a, another card to show you using the Hello Ladybug stamp set. So this one here I actually crafted um, for a make and take for uh, the scrap fest um, I attended back in April um, out in Kitchener. So hello to anybody who I met at scrap fest. Um, so just a nice simple card, right? I just used basic white um, as my card base and of course as the as the card front. And we just sprinkled a few of those image of those flowers that we put on the inside there, along with a couple of pear pizzazz leaves and then we use the coordinating punch to create our ladybug friend there so there you go i hope you like this week's cards in light of the delay of getting out card number two i'm going to try and get the third card out in about the middle of next week so keep on the lookout for that in the meantime, you can check out my other projects and tips that I share on social. You can find me at Inspiration Cards on both Facebook and Instagram. And of course, you can check out my blog, inspirationcards.com, for more info on what's going on. And if you have any questions about stamping up, paper crafting, or just scrapbooking in general, I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. Just drop me a line in the comments below or an email at inspirationwithteresa at gmail.com. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.